Number that works on your business card, chump. <laughs> your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Two zero seven six three two nine seven. At the tone, please record your message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi Sam, this is Angela Cook at 406 Oak Street Lofts in Portland. I saw your car bent in my door. My door is always unlocked, so you could come in and put it on my desktop if you want. Um, I'm assuming because... I know the character of the people that live around me pretty well, that Richard McGilvery, my neighbor, had something to do with this. Uh, if this is a form of retaliation because I complain about his dog barking relentlessly for seven plus years, um, then I'm going to file a police report against him because I have a video and I'm currently videotaping this conversation and will be taping it when you call me back. Okay, so I have a video of him because I complained to management at Avesta, he ran his dog into me, inebriated, okay? He, he picked the line on the hallway and ran and tangled his dog into me. Now, I didn't complain about a harassment order, okay? Intermittently, my dog does make noise. I found out recently, when I started a new job working graveyard, if I were the dog, I'd want to sleep in a warm apartment in a warm comforter. No, apparently the dog made noise, but you know what? It's not made noise since last Friday, over a week. So again, if this is some sort of retaliation harassment, I'll be fil filing my own. Beyond that, thanks for checking in over a week later if you think that something is wrong with me. <laughs> that the dog was stuck in the apartment with, it, with me. So I'm thinking that you're really not making a business call with an office number that doesn't that is defunct because you're concerned about me. I think it's more of the harassment and I know who's behind it. So here's the deal. It's 11:45 right now on Saturday. I just got back from work and uh, I tried to go to sleep at six, but someone buzzed my apartment downstairs at 7:30 and woke me up. And it took me forever to go back to sleep. And I was up at 1 o'clock to go to work. I'm just getting back. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. If you can't get back in touch with me before noon, do not call. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? Uh, you're welcome to send me an email. My email is exuberant. X as in xylophone. U as in umbrella. B as in boy, R as in Roger, N as in Nancy, T as in Tom, at me, M-E dot com. Thanks. <laughs> what the fuck? You want to see? Anyway, I'm working. <laughs> and, uh. I think, I think I'm getting bags under my eyes, <laughs> right? Um, you know, I think I might just get a jump on this. I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. Uh, Portland police. Let's just open. You know what? My instinct, my instinct is to call the police. Because this is not, we're concerned about you a week and a half later. 
okay? A week and a day. It's Saturday. It's Saturday the 13th, okay? Over a week. We're not concerned. Did you have a heart attack or a stroke or something over a week ago? We thought we would check in now. <laughs> it's not a concern call. What else? Um, it's jackass over here. That's what it is. Because I saw jackass glowering at me <laughs> yesterday in the hallway. A jackass. <laughs> what can I say? Jackass has picked his line. He has only one way to technically go forward at any given time is to be a jackass, to get the tin and tine and thine. Okay, so these things aren't difficult to figure out. Maybe I should go be a she riff, a she riff, uh, and track down some decent facts. I thought I fucking needed a nap. Um, my, my, my fire says call the police and file that harassment order. My instinct says this time, wait. We'll wait till we hear back from Sam. And uh, then, <laughs> if it's what I think it is, <laughs> what else? Should I make a little update? I've got some notes, haven't got around to it. I cut my hair. I'm kind of excited about it. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. And uh, because um, with longer hair, I just put it in a bun and it's our ponytail. It's not really a style. So I got rid of the bun. And uh, what else? Technically, it has a little wedge, but I just trimmed it again. Um, what else? I cut it myself. It's jaggy. It's blunt. It's it's not it's not symmetrical it's hacked it's hackneyed and i have to say i'm 100 percent comfortable in my skin i had to pick at it for days because cutting in the mirror with scissors it actually makes it more difficult to look in the mirror but it would be difficult without the mirror so anyway i did it i did it I really did it. I cut my own hair and I cut it twice. And then I could kind of do this little zigzag thing that I'm doing. And actually, it's a little short right now because I kind of like it a little longer. And then it's great because I could just, I could do some fun things with it. Anyway, um, that's it. Technically, I guess I'm checking in. What the fuck? <laughs> Actually, I'm not waiting. I know who it is. I know who's behind it. I know why he's making the first call to the authorities. So I'm going back and pulling up video. After video, after video, after complaint, after complaint. Hi. Um, I have the problem. Uh, okay. Um, shit. Someone's calling me and I don't know who it is. Um. You know what? I do know who it is. Can I can I call you back? Uh, sure. Yeah. Thanks. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, is this Sam? Uh, yes. How are you? Good. How's it going? Well, Sam, your business card's in my door today. I just getting yeah, back. What, what's your address? It's seventy-two Oak Street, number four hundred six. Repeating. Oh, you do? For what? Uh, I guess it's from the, uh, the landlord wants to speak to me as a witness or something. They want to bring me in for a witness? Okay, great. I love that. Thank you. I thought it was, so uh, I thought it was something bad. Like, like so fuck. Are you going to be home for a little while? Honestly, I am, but I am so beat. I start a new job, and uh, yeah. I, I, need to, I need a little downtime, but then I'm back up oh. again by 3 or 4 o'clock, okay? But then I'm trying to go back to sleep uh, at 6. I, I can shoot up there right now. Okay. I'm trying to get back on the bridge. It's 
so. Okay, I will look for you. Can you give me a, a time uh, estimate? Time estimate? Uh, it should be no longer than fifteen minutes, I should think. Okay, if if you want to ring me, I'll meet you downstairs. If you want, okay. or you're or you're welcome to come to the apartment, whatever you prefer. Well, which, uh, I don't have the key, and the lockbox is messed up that day, and I can't get the key out, so just, I'll have to just ring you apartment. Perfect. Now, okay, great, Sam. Thanks a lot. Okay, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <sighs> mm. That was fortuitous. <laughs> no, seriously, I was just like, he's trying to call. I blame you first. That's where I was going. I'm glad I at least took the moment <laughs> for Sam to call back. Right on. I'm just being subpoenaed as a witness. Technically, that's going to involve my free time again, and it's probably. probably <laughs> look, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't put conjecture on that. How it's going to inconvenience me when I like to be sleeping or working. I just don't even care to think about that because that seems to be my call in life. <laughs> give and give and give and give and give and give. I mean, give and give and get and get and get and get. <laughs> okay, signing off again. <laughs> I made a video of this Sam Ring and uh, then it came up. And, uh, I mean, I could have, I uh, actually know Sam and he's like, don't I know you from somewhere? And we talked and, uh, Sam's a really nice guy. Ironically for a sheriff, you don't really anticipate that. He is a really nice guy. And he's like, you look familiar. And I'm like, yeah, cause, uh, I had to get, you know, I worked with you. I had to go get a subpoena through the sheriff's office and about Michelle who liked to create traction and lies on people and then it was my turn I'm like oh, oh the buck stops here so I've actually worked through the courts to get a harassment order against a person who was on on who lived on the same hallway as me here until she moved and um, anyway this is for someone who's fairly new here I'm subpoenaed the irony of what goes around David Chamberlain. So that's Avesta's, the people I rent from, that's their eviction lawyer. It's also the, the city, city's eviction representative. So it's kind of interesting, you know, in-house, hold the cards. You know, the eviction lawyer for the town is also the, this rent, rent uh, the landlord, uh, it's their lawyer. Sorry if I'm bouncing all over the place. I have not had rest yet. And and that status quo now. Okay. So but I thought since I was making a video, I would just continue. Um yeah. It's such BS. So I get fifteen dollars. I get fifteen dollars from lovely David Chamberlain. He gets to speak D hyphen E W E hyphen D, okay, to get the tin in thine hind, okay, it's two dudes speaking to get the tin in thine hind, okay, they're not going to do with you, E W E I D, whatever, but I'm, <laughs> it's just, this just, it just gets me, you are commanded, <laughs> and Warning and notice. <laughs> Failure to comply with the subpoena may subject you to arrest and being held in contempt of court, etc. Well, the funny thing is, is this is for a guy who lives two floors down. Okay, Sam says he's already delivered four subpoenas to people in this apartment building. They don't really need me. Why do you fucking need me? Except I've got good eyes. I've run into every drunk squatter 
So I ask, like, do you live here? And they're like, no, I'm busy visiting someone. But I'm like, you smell like shit, literally. Don't touch the dog. And where does this person you're visiting live? And then the guy goes, I'm going to punch you. And I'm like, great. So I asked another woman, would you videotape this? <laughs> anyway, so I, I feed them that. Look, every t odds are, every time I go out the door, I, I run into a squatter or or someone who's propping open the door, or who's obviously drunk, or is toked right off the, the elevator. Anyway, David Chamberlain, ah, great, see that little prick face to face again. How fun, last time I wore my big black boots and put them, <laughs> held it right up, his head was here, I put my foot, foot, foot boot right here. I held it up like this. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I think that would be a fit. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while. Uh, primo, P-R-E-E-M-O dot com. You'll, you'll see David Chamberlain there, okay? They tried to evict me for having art in the art room after, and which was made up, after, no, it's not primo dot com, it's Holly Sprague. H O L L I S P R A G U E dot com. She's the person at Avesta who said it was okay to evict me for having art in the art room, but it's really a cover up because I had to do their job and subpoena all communicate against Michelle to go get my harassment order, which they enabled. Okay, and I had to go head to fucking prick head with their evictions lawyer, lawyer David P. Chamberlain. Okay and his lovely assistant, Bridget, who's got a fake, shit, shitty brown tan, okay? I don't know what she does for a living, but <laughs> I want to shake either one of her hands, okay? <laughs> All right? Anyway, the only reason they get away with this sort of litany of competition is uh they know how to preserve appearances better. Anyway, it's all coming back to me. Shit. Yeah, my little entourage in the court. What the fuck? Well, at least, at least, it really doesn't matter. I'm on the other end of it this time, but... Where is the date? He said it was the 30th. Ah! If you object to a subpoena, you must file a timely motion in court to quash or modify it. Uh, um, I think I'm going to quash. <laughs> I think I want to quash. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm due a quash. Well, I think so. Oh, they want me on the 18th. Sam said the 30th. I thought I heard the 30th. The 18th is... If today's Saturday, I can't even figure this out. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's a Thursday. At? No, I can't do that. I can't do it. I gotta quash. All right, so how do I quash? I'm going to call. I'm going to call and quash. Call and quash. Because we got to get right to it. Uh, time is precious. Oh my fuck. Especially when you're turned upside down to make a living. Oh my fuck. I can't be doing your diddly dance. Because you got other people. Alright? And besides, I've already diddled with David. And he's not satisfying whatsoever. <laughs> um... Quash. Seven seven five five zero zero six zero. All
recording. You may hang up or press pound for more options. To reach David Chamberlain. Press 1. To reach Bridget Chamberlain. Press 2. Enter 0 for base mailbox. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of David Chamberlain. I'm either away from my desk or on the other line. Please leave your name, number, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, David Chamberlain. This is Angela Cook. I just got a subpoena today from uh, Sam Rinaldi and uh, to show up in court on the 18th. And I understand that I can quash or modify it. I would prefer to quash, but modify is also a possibility. Um, I have I've got an appointment. I have <laughs> I have I'm having uh, bleeding issues, and uh, I need to I've got a doctor a follow up, and it's uh, it's women's business, <laughs> okay. And um, that's not going to be convenient for me for that day. Uh, if, if we can move it closer to after lunch, that's a possibility. But I don't want to change my appointment. So I'm calling to quash or modify as you please if that works for you. I also spoke with Sam. And Sam let me know that he uh, has already served a subpoena to four other people in this building, including directly across from uh, from the person that you will be seeing in court. Uh, if you would like written statement from me, I'm more than happy to do that. A video, I can do that also, if you want my experience. Other than that, have a token nice day on your own. <laughs> if you need my phone number, uh, it's 207. Seconds remaining to record your message. However, I would prefer that you email me because I also work graveyard. <laughs> so xubrnt at me dot com. Hope Bridget still has a lovely tan. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Is that too sassy? <laughs> I mean, if I don't act sassy, do you think I'll get to quash or modify it? Or will I have to apply more quash? to my own modification. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's always a learning journey. What can can I what do you want? <laughs> what is needed? <laughs> All right. I'm having so much fun. It's been such a long time. <sighs> Since I made a video. Uh, I had to try and remember it all again. How do I set this up? <clears throat> Am I really getting bags? Yeah, I think I am. I got some bags. Oh my fuck. <laughs> I was going to speak a little bit about where I'm working. Uh, it took me six months to get the job, and it involved a, a videotaped uh, test. Like they have the video camera over you to make sure you're not cheating. And uh, several interviews and then a written a couple of written things but one of the things that stood out for me they wanted to know uh, what's more important uh, emotions or sending direction and I'm like sending direction <laughs> it's interesting it uh, It was nearly that black and white, much the way that I determine my life in terms of priority. Send the direction, the emotions will follow. I think zero, zero, um, ult ultimately, uh, sending emotions versus emotions is the direction, but emotions mean nothing without the direction versus the direction. All right, signing off.